It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Los Angeles Chargers. And it's coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the L.A. Chargers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams, because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball downfield. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. So the Cowboys ready to go on offense for the first time, and it is their now 30-year-old quarterback, Dak Prescott, who leads the way. Prescott has some things to clean up from last season, leading the NFL with 15 interceptions and only 12 games played. But we can't overlook the good. 23 touchdowns and an 8-4 record as a starter as he led the Cowboys to consecutive postseasons for the first time since 2007. The run there on first down, going to get him five up to the 30. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. From the 29, here's second and five. Prescott now. A window closed up there, and it's behind him and incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there, tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Now Prescott. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. Oh, I don't know if he's sensing contact to cover or what, but that's a ball he'd love to have back. That could have gone for big yardage, but it just didn't want to stay in his hands. That's a tough break. And the Cowboys going to bring on Brian Anger to punt on fourth down. And the rookie Darius Davis deep for the Chargers. Taken from just outside the 30. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. So the Charger offense making its way out. And at the controls is the league's second leading passer a year ago. At 25 years of age out of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. The Chargers just continue to improve and take steps forward under the quiet leadership of Herbert who's been the most productive quarterback in league history through his first three seasons. Over 4,700 yards last year, he's expecting to crack the 5,000-yard mark in this season. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That time trying to find Gerald Everett, and that'll bring up second down. of the gun Herbert he's got Allen he'll get only three there so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead it's a game of matchups and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch especially your best guys and when they work out of the slot you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go you can break out or you can break in that makes it hard to defend 
Going to throw on third down with Herbert. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. Wiggles free. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and ten. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like in the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit jumpy. You do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like <laughs> us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Oh, you went and three now and out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. They go back to Pollard on second down. They'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw him right there, but how about what we did say? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Third and five. Looking to throw, Prescott. And he is caught. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. So a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Pollard will take it up the gut. And he's able to get this one down to about the 40. Kenneth Murray, the linebacker, there to make the play defensively. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Prescott to throw it. Out of his hands quickly to CeeDee Lamb. And Lamb going to have a Cowboys first down as the tackle made at the 31-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Prescott. And this one too low. You know, every time we talk with people about the most important quality for a quarterback to have in the NFL, what do they usually cite? Arm strength. Yeah, and that's really way down on the list. Accuracy is one of the bigger ones, maybe the foremost one. That's what he needed on that play. Second and ten. Throwing. Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 13-yard line. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. From the red zone now, Prescott, left side to Lamb. So five yards here, five on the play, and that'll bring up second down. It's a gain of five, brings up second and five at the Chargers' eight-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. 
And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Well, you have to be aware defensively that you've got two goals because obviously you're trying to prevent the touchdown, but you're also trying to keep it from getting a first down as well. That time they weren't up to the task, and it's first and goal. Pollard diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows its versatility and gets both done on this drive. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, Let's see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. If they open things up, let's see what the defense does here too after a good stop. It shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. They'll come up now, third and three. Back to throw here, Herbert. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have the Chargers first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. And already down seven to nothing after the touchdown a minute ago. So a three and out here would not be ideal for them. Nice job finding his receiver there. And they get the first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Herbert now. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. But it looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A good pick up there, 21 yards. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 43. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. 
Over the middle, it's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now a second and two. Herbert off of play action. A quick throw there is incomplete. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. A much different second drive here, Charles. They go three and out the first time. This time, they've been able to sustain something downfield. And that's what often happens. You get the game started. You know, you have to get your footing underneath you. You have to get used to the flow of the game, the speed of the game. And sometimes that first drive is more of a probing drive. It appears they found something here in the second one. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful of one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. It's second and seven from the nine. It's Eckler again. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for it in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. Here's third and six. Here's Herbert. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Bad place to fumble down here in the red zone. At least they got it. They'll have another shot. Or no, they won't have another shot. It's going to be fourth down. Maybe they can at least salvage three. And they were thinking six points because at this position of the field, it's go time, right? You take your shots at the end zone. They weren't able to do that one. So you look over at the sideline. There's head coach saying, oh, heck, kick it. Field goal time. Cameron Dicker on now to try the field goal. That's just 32 yards officially from the right hash. And his kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So unable to convert for the touchdown inside the red zone, but they do come away with three. Yeah, it's a 32-yarder. That's essentially an extra point nowadays, right? Because it's 33 as a general rule for these guys. So it should be a simple kick. But you know what's really strange nowadays? When they miss an extra point, I think they carry that with them longer than missing a field goal because an extra point's supposed to be automatic. Absolutely, and I would think even field goals inside of 30 yards, even though they're substantially shorter than a PAT, it, it just has a different feel, doesn't it's it? A different feel, a different vibe. That's what I get from all the kickers I talk to. They always say, if I miss an extra point, that's the one that bothers me more. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that. That's what he did. 
And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And he's going to go backward. They get him behind the line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Boy, the pursuit there, terrific from the linebacking core. Oh, it certainly was, because so many times on an option play, you'll see a linebacker make a beeline for the quarterback, and then zip, one cut, and he's grasping it air. But this time, he locked in on him the whole way, took an excellent angle, and his grasp came up with the quarterback. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. A little short pass. This is Everett. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that will bring up second down. Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. Herbert's throw taken in by Palmer. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-3, the score on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. As they've got it as we resume action. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. And that's complete to Trey McKinney, the tight end. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it'll be second down. Herbert throwing again. And his throw is incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Herbert. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. And a good physical run that time. He's going to wind up gaining five on that one. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Second down, Prescott. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And he's going to get it all the way down to the 10-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 72 yards. We know he's good at catching the football, but then after the catch, he's got escapability. Not only that, he's got some toughness as well because you know he's coached very hard to make sure he battles through, breaks tackles, and then they finish with, but don't fumble the football. Prescott on first down. And that is incomplete here. And down here, first and goal, if it's not there, don't force it. You've got at least two, if not three more shots at it. So that's a wise move to get rid of it. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. 
to throw is Prescott. Yeah, a quick throw here. That's complete. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. Now Prescott. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty, first and goal. Now here's Pollard, and that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he can even get started. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. He's already found the end zone once in this half, and they do a nice job there pushing him backwards and denying his bid for a second score. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. Pollard one more time. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. So stuff for no gain on second down brings up a pretty interesting third from this distance. I'm throwing the ball, and I'm not even thinking about play pass. I'm going to let know right away I'm throwing it. I'm probably giving my quarterback some room, sprint him out to one side or the other. Touchdown, Cowboys! Dak Prescott with a connection to CeeDee Lamb as his guys are able to extend their lead. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that a seven-play, 80-yard drive. And it's finished off by the touchdown from C.D. Lamb. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Here's Darius Davis on the return. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. Yeah, it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, C.D. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. They'll try the right side with Eckler. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Here's Herbert. Complete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Well, obviously searching for their first touchdown this game, partner. And that quick three and out, that's not going to achieve that at all. Give victory to the secondary there. They brought out tight coverage on that third down snap. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. 
And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Here's Pollard again. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. They find some open field here. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. Now that's a big time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 36. Here's Prescott. Throw left side complete, that's Lamb. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 30-yard line. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Prescott now. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. A six-yard pass on back-to-back -back plays. Picks up the first. They've looked his way quite a bit, and in my estimation, as well they should. Well, that's now five catches in this first half alone. And he picks up another first down. He's been an important part of their offense here early. A first down throw for Prescott. Escaping the pressure right. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man covers were so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. Prescott from the gun. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys are able to widen their advantage. So three drives, three touchdowns, and they're a PAT from going up 21-3. to three. And there's no doubt in my mind, you're liking what you're seeing so far, aren't you? It's been unbelievable. Like yeah. a well-oiled machine, if you will. What's really tough, though, that defense... They're leaping the shadows at this point. They don't know which way to go. They're being hit in every direction, and they have no answers thus far. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is up to 18 now. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Chargers offense back out and ready to go. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3, I think discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. Now a second and 10. Now it's Herbert. A little short pass. This is Everett. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That's a gain of eight. Brings up third and two. Time 
Justin Herbert looking to pass. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down. And he's going to have it by plenty. Able to get eight yards there on third and two. It's been a very one-sided game so far. they got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. Meanwhile, Herbert's this throw taken in by Johnston and taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to all get it back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives, making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. There's a short throw to his tight end, McKitty. That'll go for a gain of seven at its second down. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the Cowboys' 35-yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. And, Charles, you know, it seems like sometimes when you fall down early, there can be a tendency there to try and get it all back in one fell swoop. And that time, that thinking leads to an interception. And I believe you brought up a really good point there, Brandon, because you try and force plays, right? You try and get all back in one shot, just as you mentioned there. And you know you're going to need some big plays to get back into the game. But ultimately, you really can't force what isn't there. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now. But I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Prescott swinging this out for Pollard and a great move on the play as he takes this one past the 25 the Cowboys on third down they've converted three out of five thus far this time it's third and three throwing Prescott and that is incomplete that is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch he's caught everything that's been thrown his way a dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work it really hurts you on the back end and even though it's an incompletion there I think they're going back to that well on to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. Here's second and 10. Back to throw here, Herbert. His throw incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope it didn't come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Out of the gun, Herbert. That is caught. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. 
I tell you what, third and ten, you look over, and you've got that punt team getting loose on the sideline. So that puts added importance on this play. You certainly don't want to see them on the field. And after a couple of incompletions, third time's the charm as they get the hook up here and pick up the first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Eckler now between the tackles. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. From the 42-yard line, here's the second and five. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. And his throw here is incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Herbert now. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Picked off by Damone Clark. And the Cowboys are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Well, it certainly feels like this defensive group has figured this guy out to the tune of a big lead in this one. And you know that he's frustrated with how this game has gone. And now with back-to-back -back interceptions, he's got to find a way to get out of his own head and start making better plays. Offense back out there, and we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They always say that real estate is about location. Well, guess what? When it's a slant route, the quick ones, Timing, timing, timing. Got to be able to lead your man with the football. And the timing off right there. Threw it behind him. Prescott now from the 50. And that's complete to Cooks. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Here's Prescott. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And he will have a Cowboys first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. Well, this might very well have been four down territory, but that's not going to matter now. They get a nice throw there on third down, and they're able to keep the drive going. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Looking to throw, Prescott. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Slants are so tough to cover because everything happens so fast. But sometimes it happens too fast for the guy catching the ball because all of his movements have to be quick off the line of scrimmage, and then all of a sudden the ball's right on top of you. And maybe he got a little bit ahead of himself there. Yeah, a lot of times coming in with good pace, and he dropped it. Prescott yet again. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. On third down, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. They were maybe hoping for a little bit of a back shoulder fade there, and that's a play that's been in vogue the last few years in all aspects of football. But they couldn't get the hook up there. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And that's off the right upright, and it bounces away no good. 
And this will remain an 18-point lead. So distance not the issue there. He had plenty of leg to get it there. It's that darn upright getting in the way. Always gets in the way of a good time, doesn't it? Because he hit it square, too. Sometimes you can bank one in if you get it on the end of the football. No such luck there for him. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. A little short pass. This is Everett. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it's second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. And that would complete downfield to Allen. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. 23 yards the pick up there. All right, say it with me now. There are a lot of different words we come up with. Maybe we go back and forth after that play, getting his toes tapped down to make that catch. Crafty. Yep. Wiley. Oh, definitely. All the veteran names. You name it. Has every move in the book and continued to get better throughout his career so he can make that type of a catch. So from the 25, this is second and five. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Touchdown, Chargers! Gerald Everett, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Chargers get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Well, that touchdown certainly helps, but they've got to go ahead and convert, get to the half, and figure out how to keep chopping down this lead in the second, don't they? Yeah, they still need to regroup, and they still need to end the second quarter strong. A little bit of time left. And for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. It's up and good, and the lead is down now at 11. It's 21 to 10. Just a four-play drive that time. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. the Dicker field goal. He's back out, ready to send it away. Cavante Turpin now from his end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Cowboy offense going to head out now late in this first half. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. They'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. And that is not what you expect from a receiver of his caliber. Sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself. You don't look it in, and all of a sudden it's on the ground. A surprise to all. Throwing again. Prescott on second and ten. This is caught. It's Cooks. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. On the out route, it's Lamb with a grab. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And from the 41, this is second and a yard. On play action, Prescott eluding the pressure right. A good decision in the end. The pull it and run gets him nine yards at a first. And 
And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This is a 49-yard attempt, right hash. And this one is right down the middle. And the lead grows to 14 at 24 to 10. So a big play before the end of the half to get them into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Cowboys out on top. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports halftime report. It was a strong first half for running back Tony Pollard. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Chargers going to get the football first here in the second half, and they trail as we get back underway. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Second and six. Here's Herbert. They'll find Everett there, complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Zone coverage here defensively. They're going to let their tight end run a drag across the field. This is where a linebacker gets forced to pass him off. That time, the receiver gets lost a little bit, and he's able to make the catch and pick up good yardage in a first down. Running on first down, Eckler. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 11 more on that one, and another first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. On first down, Justin Herbert. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. I think he's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Up the middle with Eckler. 
And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. That one good for 13 and a Charger first. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there, just one good carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Herbert operating from the red zone. Forced out to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. Micah Parsons is off to one of the greatest starts in any NFL career. Two seasons, two All-Pro selections, two-time Defensive Player of the Year runner-up, and even some MVP votes last year. And behind all of that, 26 and a half sacks. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown, Gerald Everett. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers have cut it back within a score. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Extra point try now from Dicker. He's got it, and it's 24-17. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. Second down, Pollard again. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Prescott work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete and he will have a Cowboys first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six so from the 39 now they'll come up on a first and ten they run straight ahead here with Pollard and strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 77 yards on the ground here for Pollard. This is a first down. A great run by Pollard and runs like that have had us anticipating a breakout season from him for years. And it finally arrived in 2022. Dallas gave him more run and he had his first 1,000 yard season despite receiving less than 200 touches. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. 
Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. There are a good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Throwing, Prescott. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. No surprise to see a sideline fired up by that big play. Heck, we're fired up, and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it, sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Prescott now. Throw complete right side to Coates. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll run with Pollard. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, not of there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. Pollard again. And not a whole lot there as they'll get him down at about the two. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. And if you're going to throw it, something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. And this time he is in. Yes. Tony Pollard with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys have taken a two-touchdown lead now. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends were on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group, they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now up to 14. So that drive spans 13 plays. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. 
And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Herbert. And got his man complete. Down the sideline he goes. And all the way in for the Charger touchdown. Quentin Johnston, 73 yards. And the Chargers are back within a score. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got a down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Tony Pollard and his Dallas teammates ready again on offense. He is hoping to find the end zone for a third time, and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more, but I think even more so, his offensive line. Anytime you've got a guy scoring that many times, that means you've done a really nice job in front of him. You're always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's always a good idea. Those are some massive men. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll make it second down. Pollard going to try the right side. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 102 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. That's got this one complete to Pollard. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. They toss it down to Pollard. And good pursuit yet again by the Chargers as they stuff it behind the line. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel. But it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays. And they actually fast forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. 
It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down and eight. Now Prescott. Swinging this out for Pollard. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Trying to run for it with Pollard. Ooh, the juke. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, it's eaten up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. From the red zone now, Prescott. And that's complete to Cooks. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Play fake, Prescott. And he wisely will throw that one away. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action, maybe throwing it. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Pollard. Not going anywhere. He'll lose a couple back to the six. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. I thought they were onto something with their play call and kind of went in reverse a little bit, threw it on first down, then ran it on second down. Not successful either way. What play call do they come up with here on this important third down try? Prescott on third and goal. That ball is caught. It's Gallup, touchdown Cowboys. Touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And they are able to add on to their advantage. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game, even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead now up to 14. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Now the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? 
are you loosened up, but even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Third quarter now from SoFi Stadium. Here's a second and 10. Here's Herbert. On the screen, this is Eckler. Gets it up around the 22, but no further. Did flash the fancy footwork, but not much to show for. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively. And the key to any screenplay is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackle it for just a short gain. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And it's fielded at the 34. That'll go as a 42-yard punt, but a net of 32, they had a 10-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. Offense back out there, and we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. He's up over 100 yards, and he'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Has a tremendous nose for it, doesn't he? The ability to pile up yardage and find the end zone, that's the combination you want in your runner. That's yeah, a combination any coach wants, and we'll see if he can find that end zone once more. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Give all that credit defensively to Khalil Mack. A great stop in the backfield. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's the Cowboys with the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line, lower than the defensive front. They moved them and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. Now third down and seven. Prescott to throw it. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there's no way that ball was going to be caught. Here's Brian Anger now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 16. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Wide open, it's Allen complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets his football out shy of the 30 to the 29. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. They'll get this over the middle here to Palmer. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, a 22. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now it's Herbert. This is swung out to Eckler. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. 
It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together, when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup if someone's trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Normally, being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Herbert wants to throw it on third and one. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Chargers first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. They brought in the heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation, and sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. Now a give running left is Eckler. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And, you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. 59 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Now Herbert. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the legs still there. This has been a tough game. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Out of the gun, Herbert. Out left, he's got it to Everett. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. To the air again, Herbert. He's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Josh Palmer, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. the Dicker field goal. He's back out, ready to send it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And now Dallas gets sent to take the field. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. They have not 
seen that much today. That's going to line up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. A big play here for Dallas. 73 yards. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. <laughs> Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zooming past that number there. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Here's Prescott. That ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. Dak Prescott now four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Cowboys have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead now up to 14. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And it's capped off for the Cowboys' touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And the Chargers coming out of the field now. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But... Let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Herbert now. That's again complete to Palmer. Seven catches for him now in this last one. The first down. Here's Herbert. He finds his target, Allen. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. He got 29 yards that time. And with that pass CD, he's now over 400 yards in the game. And even in a pass-first league, that is still a tough benchmark to hit. And all week leading up to this one, all we read, heard about was the confidence he had that he could put up big numbers. Kudos to him for coming out here without belief in himself and for making it happen. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? So from the 26-yard line, here's second and four. A shotgun snap for Herbert. 
Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Palmer. He's up to 87 yards receiving now, and it's a first down. They're going to go toss right side with Eckler. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 82 yards on the ground for Eckler here. That's a first down. Successful toss play to the right there. It's interesting. Teams seem to run the toss a lot more to the right than to the left. It's usually a little more natural. Right-handed quarterback, typically your power side running the ball is to the right side with your guard and your tackle. In college football, they used to call it student body right because you had everyone on that. And he will get in across the chalk for a Chargers touchdown. Austin Eckler. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers have got it back to within a score. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Tony Pollard and his Dallas teammates ready again on offense. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. And he's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see it back. Just got to have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't feel like there are going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming. Let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit. Even for those big tight ends who you would think can absorb that contact. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. Pollard gets it off the option. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts, being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Here's a second and eight. Now Prescott. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. But now it's third down. Now Prescott. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. That is an absolute backbreaker. That was a design passing play, wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped, good coverage downfield, and he's able to pick up the first with his legs. Defensively, that kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does, and, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically, but it hurts more when they get it this way because you've covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running, 
and picks it up anyway. And now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. And really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth. It's getting cold in here, partner, because it looks like he's trying to ice this one away. Yeah, I know, bad dad joke, but what the heck, right? Scrambling for that first after the D blanket his receivers, that's a backbreaker for the defense. They finish this drive off with six, and this one could be over. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? First down, and it's Pollard again. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. Now second and five. Going to run again here with Pollard. And he'll take this one down near the 15. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And it'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Prescott and this is caught and that could seal it it's a touchdown well that was absolutely ideal for them wasn't it trying to salt this game away I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football that was absolutely impressive everybody wants those salt away the game drives what makes them successful well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. Extra point right down the middle and the lead now up to 14. A pretty long drive that time, 11 plays all told and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Herbert and the Chargers down by two touchdowns. A minute 45 to play. Field goals useless at this point. They need two touchdowns, and they need them in short order. Johnston hauls it in, and he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. And these numbers on our monitor are getting hard to believe. He's closing in now, right on the doorstep of 500 yards passing. I'm glad that you watched the monitor and said it first, because I had trouble absorbing that. That's big time right there, right? That means everything just about has gone right for them and his squad in this game. Let's see if they can keep it up. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They'll try again here, second and ten. Herbert. 
incomplete. That's Palmer. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 31-yard line. Now Herbert got to get him to the line in a hurry. Herbert. And that's into the hands of Eckler. Heck of a broken tackle and able to work this down near the 23. He felt the pressure coming there. That was a good job of just making something out of nothing, so to speak. Yeah, took the hit and still made the play. You know, when we talk about runners, all right, and on running plays, runs after contact we call that getting dirty yards tough gritty ones to me that's like the version of a dirty pass he knows he's going to get smacked and he's going to be taken down here a sack back into 32. chargers going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go Here now, third down. You can score on these guys. Throwing Herbert. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. They snap it to Herbert. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Cowboys' defense is going to get them the football back. Prescott, he goes down to a knee, and that should just about do it. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And we talked so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business.